Hi there, and welcome back to Improve Your Voice. My name's Darren McStay. If you've been here before, then you've probably got a good idea about how this works. If this is your first time, welcome. I hope I can help you out. I don't like messing around, so I'd like to get straight into it. But firstly, I am going to say this. If you are looking to enhance the use of your voice in every aspect, and I mean looking at your breath, posture, articulation, delivery, resonance, and all the other elements that add up to give you the best voice you can have, then why don't you take a look at my online course? It's an eight week online course that goes through everything you need to know, every area of the voice, and will set you up with tools you can use for the rest of your life to stay at the top of your game. Whether you need it for singing, speaking, or just confidence, it's designed to help you out. But anyway, let's get back to today's tutorial. And this comes from a question that I've been asked a few times, is how to do tongue trills. Now I've looked at other videos on the internet and I've seen how they're trying to help others learn how to roll their R's, but it seems like people are getting stuck because they're thinking about it too much. It's almost like breathing. When, when you have to consider how your body breathes in and breathes out, it becomes very conscious and very awkward and strange to actually embody and comprehend. And it's the same with anything of the body. Once your body's used to it, it becomes subconscious and you don't have to worry about it anymore, like breathing. But with tongue trills specifically, they are a little tricky because not everyone uses them in their accent. So let's see if I can offer some ideas to help you find a way of doing that for yourself. And I think I was asked this question because in some of my exercises previously, I have tongue drills, yet not everyone is able to do them. Okay, so it's been said before that you need to have a completely relaxed tongue, but that's false. You need to have some tension in your tongue, but I don't want you to think about it. The tongue drills we're talking about are like this. But if I put sound to them, it's more like this. Okay, so essentially what's happening is the tip of my tongue is curled back and it makes like a cupped hand shape in your mouth. Then the trick is to relax the tip and let air pass through your mouth in such a way that it hits the tongue like a flag and flaps like this. Try it with a H sound. Now even though I've described how the tongue is in the mouth, I don't want you to think too hard about it. What I want you to do is copy me, parrot fashion. See the sound I'm making and literally just try to copy what I'm doing. So you're not making the tongue go up and down, the tongue is still and the air moves the tongue. It is a really tricky thing to do, so it's no surprise if you find it difficult. But, and like whistling, it doesn't always happen for everyone straight away. It took me years to learn how to whistle and I'm still not very good at it. I can whistle better inwards than I can outwards. And that's just training. If you don't use muscles a certain way, they don't work for you a certain way. So you just need to copy me and keep going until it works for you. Once it works for you, keep doing it. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. It just takes a little effort. That's all. Don't think too hard about it. Just copy me. So today was just a short, simple tutorial. I hope it's been helpful for those who need it. I've been Darren McStay. This is Improve Your Voice, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.